Beauty in the Hoodie. Welcome to your general love reading for, what is it, June 12th of today? Yeah, June 12th, 2023. I got my little Froze here. They open up this little Froze spot by my house. Y'all know I love frozen drinks, right? The lady was like, yo, you guys said y'all got drinks to go? She said, no. I walked right out with this. This reminds me of some New York stuff right here, right? The container they put it in, it says 14% ABV frozen wine. It's good. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna be getting lit. Yeah. With some of y'all for y'all reading. How y'all doing? Y'all know I love my frozen drinks now. They hard to find too. I don't know why they so hard to find. Like you know, a lot of places you go, they be like, oh no, we just got mixed drinks, shaking. I'm like, I'm gonna frozen. How y'all doing though, Virgos? I miss y'all. Welcome to your general love reading. Ooh, that flew out. Excuse me. Truth. Ooh, a lot of y'all gotta get some type of truth or clarity in your love life. It says truth, confession, clarity, reveal secrets with finances here. Money problems, work, material things, success. A lot of y'all been focused on your money, right? You got date here, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. Some of y'all may be celebrating an anniversary. Some of y'all may get asked out on a date. Some of you are dating somebody, right? Some type of clarity a lot of you Virgos are gonna get in love. Proposal, ooh. Well, somebody here seem to be getting, um, a few of you, not everybody gonna be getting Engaged to or proposed to, it says love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. It doesn't have to be a marriage proposal. It could be somebody asking you to be their man, be their boyfriend, be their girlfriend, right? Toxic relationship here. Mm. Fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, and trigger. Be careful of a toxic connection with somebody, y'all. Fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. I don't like that. Some of y'all, if you're dealing with a toxic relationship, some of y'all are scared. I don't like that. Don't let nobody make you, you know, have no fear. Because some of y'all be you in a relationship that is, is could be physical. So you got to watch out for that or a connection. Or it's just toxic in whatever way that may be, you know. But for a lot of you Virgos, I'm seeing somebody that could be grabbing you. Or, or just mentally abusive, right? Fated meeting, meant to be destiny, predetermined encounter. Some of y'all gonna meet somebody, destiny got it aligned for you. Your angels got it aligned for you. You got your destined to meet somebody new, a lot of you. Don't look at me like that. See, look, healing, wounds, improving, mending, and progress. You see what I'm saying? You're healing. Crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point, and indecisive. Some of y'all Virgos at a crossroads here, you got a decision to make in love. A big decision. I don't know if it's to leave this toxic relationship. Look, text messages on the bottom here. Not everybody's in a toxic relationship, right? Or dealing with somebody toxic. That's just some of you, right? But you got text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message. Feel like you're gonna get a lot of communication in regards to love. Mm. What else we got for my Virgos? What else we got for my Virgos? Don't forget to hit the like button, Virgos, especially if the reading resonates. Please let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable. I love talking to you guys there. Subscribe, share, tell a friend, all that good stuff. Keep feeling a piece of hair on my nose. True gem, valuable quality and jewelry. You know your worth, Virgo. I love you. Union. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are in a relationship, or you will be. It says union, serious relationship, marriage, partnership. Don't look at me like that, Virgo. I'm telling you what's here. If you're not married in a relationship, you're going to be in soon, or the person that you're talking to wants, to, wants something serious with you. Travel. Ooh, one of my favorite cards in this deck outside of the money one. <laughs> hey, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Some of y'all got trip coming up, like a trip, some type of travel. Maybe some of y'all traveling right now watching this, right? 
Why am I smelling something burning? Maybe that's just the burnt bacon from earlier. Ice queen, divorcee, mother discernment. Some of you guys have been divorced before or you've just really been through it in love, right, Virgo? I feel like with that ice queen card, whether you're a man or a woman, no matter you know your gender, this is you kind of coming off sometime a little detached, but also being able to see through bullshit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Children, childlike innocence and fun. Some of y'all got kids. You've been spending time with your kids. Some of you Virgos, you have a really fun personality. I feel like the person you're dealing with could have a child or something like that for a few of you. Somebody could work with kids. Gossip. You could be dealing with somebody who's younger than you or like really like youthful, childlike, and fun. But gossip is here with new love on the bottom. Some of y'all got a new person here or you attracted a new person. It says new person unknown person right gossip here you got an ex or somebody like a past lover that really keep your name in their mouth why who is this person some of y'all it could be like family members like co-workers neighbors talking like there's a lot of gossip around your love life for some reason freedom some of y'all people, if you single, people be talking about that. They don't get why you single. You look too good to be single. Da 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 da. da you know? Like, and some of y'all, if you're not single, you kind of got this freedom type energy in your relationship or whatever connection you got. People be talking about that because I asked about gossip and it says freedom, casual, single, freedom, casual, being single, enlightenment. That's what people be talking about with gifts here, surprises, presents, and opening. Let me see this travel card. If you guys want to book an emergency personal reading with me, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com, baby, and we'll get you booked, all right? Long distance. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that's a long distance connection. They can live in a foreign country. Oh, I was talking about that card. There it is, the money card. Wealth, luck, finances. Some of y'all, your money's going up, right? I just heard all the way up. Some of y'all can be dealing with somebody who got money, right? Somebody works with jewelry. Let me see the true gem card here. It's like you know your worth. Friendship here. Friends, acquaintances, networking. Some of you Virgos have a lot of your friends be crushing on you or friends of friends, acquaintances, like people you went to college with, like... Because I'm seeing uh, there's some Virgos you got a lot of friends or a lot of people know you. And I see a lot of them people in that friend circle or that acquaintance circle. They got a crush on you or they be feeling you. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the tarot got, baby. Baby, baby. I love it when you call me Big Pop. Throw your hands in the air. You a true player. Let me light some sage for you. Oh, matter of fact, let me get my torch lighter. I love my torch lighter. Burn a bitch. Come on. Try me if you want to. <laughs> Virgo, like, she crazy. How y'all doing, Virgos? I love y'all. Shout out to all the members. Thank you for your membership. Thank you for being part of the family. And if you're not a member yet, what the hell are you waiting on? Come on and join this membership family so you get bonus readings by your girl. You know you want to. It's cheaper than a number two at McDonald's. And shout out to everybody that's on my Patreon page. Now, the Patreon is a little bit different. The Patreon page, we focus on astrology. So we talk about your birth sign. I mean, your birth chart. I said your birth sign. Your birth chart, your moon, rising, Venus, all of that. All right? It's astrology-based. So check that out. I would love to have y'all over there. And thank you to everybody that signed up. We be having fun. We be learning. We be learning. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all of you guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All right? It's Miss Hawaii Tarot. Thank you to everybody that's shown love on the gram, on TikTok, on Facebook. Y'all are awesome. I love y'all. I really, really do. So let's see. What does the tarot have for what's going on? Who's around you in love? How do they feel about you? What is the energy around Virgo and love? And how does this person feel truly deep down inside about Virgo? Let's see. Nothing. 
Nine of Wands. Yeah, some of y'all, that's the Wounded Warrior card. Some of y'all really been through it in love. You got the High Priestess. Your intuition is getting stronger. Pisces Cancer Energy. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now go on with your bad self. Looking good. Making your money stable. Grounded. Intuitive. The Magician in Reverse. You see what I'm saying? Gemini Energy. There's somebody around you can't trust. I don't know if this is a past lover or this is somebody you currently got around you. We're going to take a look and see. They could have tried to manipulate you, right? The Hermit. Ah, that's you. Y'all been spending time to yourself. I'm seeing somebody's hands. Like somebody got nice hands or somebody they work with their hands or... Mm. A lot of y'all could be dealing with another Virgo, but I see that's you. Page of Wands, somebody new here. Somebody younger than you, possibly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And if it's not a specific person, that's you just bringing more excitement back into your love life, being excited about love, but it feels like somebody. Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. With the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, you've been focused on your work, on your grind. Some of y'all really have been working a lot. Maybe you've been... I just heard some of y'all got like a goal or something. Like maybe some of y'all are trying to like buy something or you're trying to save up a certain amount of money or something like that. Some type of financial goal I see you working towards and I know you'll get there. So I'm happy for you. But I do see somebody here that you distance yourself from, right? This person refuses to move on from you. Six of Swords in reverse. Let's see the Nine of Wands. There's a few of you, you got a new job. Let's see the Nine of Wands for my Virgs. My Virgs, Virg, Virg, Virg. The Virg is the word. Page of Cups in reverse and the Star, Aquarian energy. With the Six of Cups in reverse, a lot of y'all trying to let go of the past. There was a lot of emotional upset and I see you healing with the star. Okay, maybe some of you actually are stars in the public eye. Doesn't have to be with the star card. Clearly everybody isn't, but um, it's more of a healing energy, right? Powerful energy. Why the high priestess? Two of Pentacles. Some of y'all, your intuition told you to drop somebody or let a situation go after you thought about it for a while. It could be with a fire sign for some of you, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. Because this person wouldn't change. Let me see the, ooh. Ooh, eight of wands in reverse. Some of y'all blocked somebody. Somebody controlling possibly could be your baby daddy, maybe your mama. <laughs> well, you can't block one of them, right? Somebody say, yeah, I can. Let me see the Queen of Pentacles. This is you grinding. Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh-oh. What happened, Virgo? Some of y'all been having family issues, right? Six of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords. There's some type of past situation you're trying to, you're trying to like put, like leave it in the past. Some type of relationship that didn't work out, right? Why the Magician in reverse? Six of Cups, I mean, Six of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Death. Whoever that magician is and reverses, that person, you done with them. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Because the Death card is here with the Six of Pentacles and the Fool. Some of y'all, maybe this person tried to manipulate you with money or manipulate you with something here. But I feel like you going through that situation with this person, it taught you. It also transformed you. But you got the fool on the bottom. That's Aries energy. This is you ready to start new, ready to start fresh. Let me see the hermit, please. You've been spending a lot of time to yourself. The devil in reverse. Some of y'all are like, yeah, because that's how I just stay safe. Just stay away from any of these toxic ass people, right? Some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn. 
But a lot of you, that's just how you took your power back and avoided temptation. And also learned about what makes you happy from inside, right? Self-happiness. Because a lot of you weren't happy. Let me see the page of wands here. This exciting communication you got coming in from somebody. Seven of cups in reverse. Ooh. Five of wands in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. I see you talking to somebody. I don't know if this person wants a relationship right off the bat with the Hierophant in reverse. Maybe they're divorced. Maybe they could have just got out of something. Maybe this is you. But I feel like... I feel like they have options, but I see them focused on you. But something about you not wanting no drama. I don't know. Let me see. Let me get one more card on this page of Wands. Because I'm getting some of y'all think this person wants sex or something. Page of Swords. I see them spying on you. I feel like whoever this person is, they're being honest with you with the moon in reverse. They're not hiding anything from you. Who is this person that won't move on with the Six of Swords in reverse? Who is this person? The World in reverse. Yep. Temperance in reverse. Eight of Cups. This is somebody you walked away from. Temperance in reverse. The World in reverse. Uh, could be a Sagittarius. Somebody, there was a, a lot of tension between the two of you. A big imbalance. But they still haven't moved on from you. They feel like you and them have unfinished business. But you walked away from this person. Look, seven of swords behind it. This is somebody that was deceptive towards you, right? Could have been a third party thing. Why is the three of pentacles in reverse? Two of swords in reverse. The sun. Something about you seeing clearly. There's that truth energy, right? That clarity. Some of you dealing with a Leo. Something here about you giving up on a situation. You thought about it. You see clearly. And what makes you happy is to let go. Why the Eight of Pentacles? This is your money. Your work. Your career. Seven of Pentacles. Looks good. Whatever you're doing with your money, keep going. Three of Cups. Yeah. I see you being happy. I, don't, I see you being... Like some of y'all work is what really keeps the stress away. <laughs> staying busy at work or something like that three of cups came out on top of your work so i feel like you be having a good time whatever you do <laughs> i see people around you that really care about you and i see it doesn't cause stress okay let's see this person's hidden truth baby let's go into the extended reading now so if you guys want to join me there virgos the link is below. We're going to go ahead and pull some hidden truth messages. We're going to see what is in this person's subconscious about you. How do they truly feel about you? All right. We're going to take a deep look and we'll go ahead and look at future actions. What can you expect in the future in love from these people or this person or whoever moving forward? And then we'll go ahead and get you some advice, Virgo, to see how you should proceed moving forward and overall. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. You guys are incredible. I love you so much. Shout out again to all the members, all the Patreoners. And if you guys would like to join, make sure you check out the description box. There's numerous ways to connect with me. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye, Virgos.